Under strict cleaning, disinfection, and social distancing guidelines, the Light of the World Church begins to reopen the houses of prayer only in the countries and or regions which have been authorized by local government and health officials. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, the Light of the World temples were closed in order to safeguard the integrity and health care of each of its members. All of the health recommendations given by authorities in all government levels in countries where the churches present were followed as a sign of solidarity due to the fast increase in cases around the world. Nonetheless, all the worship services to God have been broadcasted through live internet transmissions, maintaining the spiritual essence which characterize it. Cuando la tribulación suele cansarme, elevo mi plegaria al Redentor. And we say, and the scent rises unto the throne in heaven. Hermanos, posa ir para aquel lugar preparado no reino celestial. Jeudi le 3 septembre de l'année 2020. This activity will continue for those who still need to stay indoors, as well as for all of those who wish to participate in the biblical studies the church gives. Through the church's healthcare ministry and in coordination with local ministers, the church has implemented a biosecurity protocol which aims to guarantee the safe return of the faithful who attend the face-to-face -face prayers following the health and security guidelines established by health authorities at all times. The care, concern, and love the demand sent from God has shown for His church is reflected in the counsel that all church members receive day to day and in the guidelines given by health experts in aims to provide a safe environment for the church without exposing them to the risks that this pandemic has brought. With these good health practices, the Light of the World Church reaffirms its compromise as a responsible institution which promotes its values like the love for life, solidarity, respect, and cooperation at all times and under any circumstance. With images of correspondence and information by Javier Garcia, Reported for LLDM News, Gabriel Illescas.